One thing you notice scrolling through Etsy as a beginner is that some of the really big shops on Etsy have thousands of listings. So just scrolling through, you'll see some of those big shops have thousands and thousands of listings. And it's so hard as a beginner sometimes to see yourself there. But yes, there's a way in which you can generate multiple designs in a few minutes or in an hour using the method that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So let's step into the video and I'll show you how I generated 50 t-shirt designs using AI. So to come up with our 50 t-shirt designs, we're going to follow three steps. The first step is to find a scalable design and we're going to be using ChatGPT to help us there. Then we're going to be creating a scalable template and for this we will use Canva to help us come up with a trending t-shirt template using some of the designs we see on Etsy. And then once we've got our template, we are going to bulk create our design in 50 variations so that we end up with 50 t-shirt designs. So let's go into step one find a scalable design. So we're going to be using ChatGPT to help us come up with a scalable design. So the first thing I do within ChatGPT and I use the free version is I'm going to type in this prompt which says, please give me 10 Etsy t-shirt designs that I can create 50 versions of by changing just one word. So we'll put that in and see what ChatGPT gives us. So you can see there ChatGPT is suggesting a few variations of some wording that you could put on t-shirts. So what you need to do is just go through those and see which one would best suit your needs. And um, if you can't find one that, that suits you, if you don't like the ones it gives you, you can say, give me more give me 10 more and then it will go and give you 10 more examples so what you do is you really go through this process until you find a wording that really stands out to you or one that you could use so like for example live laugh love explore more be yourself so for me, I want to make a career-based type of t-shirt. So I'm looking at these and thinking how best can I use that? So I'll keep trying until I find the one that suits me. So after some trial and error, I ended up with this wording that I quite like, just a design that just has like athlete mode. So you can modify the word athlete to put in different variations. So if you were going with a sports theme, you could put different types of sports or hobbies. But for me, I want to go down the career theme because as you, it's time for graduations, career based t-shirts are a good graduation gift to give to someone or teacher appreciation day nurse appreciation day um, these are these would be really great gifts to give to people in those careers so what i'm going to do now is to put in this prompt uh, using that idea of athlete mode i'm going to ask chat gpt to give me 50 variations but based around careers and then we'll get our list. So once again, I look at the list and I can still see uh, ChatGPT is kind of still basing this around um, sporting. So the other way is just to just go into ChatGPT and ask it to give me 50 professions that are popular at the moment so that I just get a full list of 50 professions. So give me 50 professions that are popular that I can put on a shirt. So we'll see what it gives us. It's given us quite some choice. 
Um, so there we go. We've got a long list and yeah, so that's the list we're going to be using. Now on to step two, create a scalable template. So for this, we're going to be doing this in Canva. So when we come into Canva, we're going to be creating a custom size of 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That's the one I like to use for t-shirts. And we've already got our words from ChatGPT where we are going to be putting in, for example, I'll just start typing here. So if we go to our text, we're going to be using something like teacher mode. So now when it comes to what text within uh, Canva, I'm using some fonts that I've been finding are quite popular on Etsy. And um, I'll show you the ones I, I like. This one called Six Cap, Six Caps. Usually you find this with um, each of the letters a different color. But for what we're doing here, um, if we use a different color for the word that we're going to be changing into the 50 variations, that won't quite work. So the word that we're going to be changing needs to be in one color. And then what we might have this, the word for, we want this to be six caps. And then the other word that we have, like we're going teacher mode, So the, the word mode can be in a different color. So it just depends what you want to do really. So for me, for this word, I'm going to be using a font called um, Buffalo. So I find on Etsy, these uh, fonts, you find them quite often, uh, duo fonts put together and I really like how this one comes up. So we might change the word mode and put that in a in a different color. So yeah, so now that we've got our design that we want to go with, you can always change this color. I'm just using blue so that we can see it clearly just to see the difference there in our two fonts. So once we've, we've got our design will look like that simple design uh, and that that does work because simple cells so once we've got that now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting we want to now create the 50 designs and how we are doing this we're going to be using a feature within canva that is called bulk create so if you've never used that feature before you'll have to look it up in apps but because I've used it before, it appears here in my toolbar. So you're going to create, you're going to choose bulk create. And now what we want to do is we're going to enter our data manually using the list that ChatGPT generated for us. So we'll go into ChatGPT and copy that list. So we'll use this one. Just copy the list, copy, and we'll come back into Canva. And we're going to say enter the data manually. You'll see there's already some examples there. We'll just clear the table and we'll it's a good idea to just put even just put word in there just as the title of that column and then just paste all the values that you've got from ChatGPT. Then we'll go done. And then once that's done, we'll come to that word teacher that we want to modify into the 50 variations and we'll right click and we'll do connect data. And it will say we want to connect the data that we've just 
loaded and called the column word and then it will it will change whatever we had there to say word so don't worry we're we're still on the right track so now what we when we come here we can see that um, Canva has uploaded our list of 50 variations for our t-shirt so we'll just click continue and now we can see all our full list of 50 then we just say generate 50 designs and there we go we have our 50 designs and so what you'll just do now is to look through like you can see some words like accountant maybe um, too long so you just need to go in there and make sure that um, you've corrected that so you'll need to go through and just amend some of the longer words like their police officer or firefighter so you just go and modify those to suit and so I won't bore you with that but basically that's what we have we've got our 50 designs there for a, a t-shirt for a doctor for a nurse a teacher engineer lawyer and the list goes on so that's how we, we can bow create 50 t-shirt designs using Canva and ChatGPT. So once you've done that, you can now come here and go share. Once you're happy with all the 50 designs you've done, you can come here and download your PNGs and remember to select transparent background, then click download so that your designs are saved on your computer. And then you can go and use those designs within Etsy um, if you are doing print on demand then you could bring those designs into sites like Printify and design your t-shirts ready for sale on your platform of choice. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments area. I'll be happy to help as much as I can uh, but I hope that you can give, give this a try and just like that, you'll have 50 new t-shirt designs in your shop and you can keep going, uh, changing different types of t-shirts, sports-based designs, uh, life stage-based designs, these career-based designs. And I'm sure you'll have lots of designs in your shop in no time. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.